Hi, my name is Daniel Marchese and I'm a senior trial attorney at the Marchese Law Firm. At the Marchese Law Firm, we focus exclusively on divorce and family law issues, including custody, child support, and spousal support, and post-judgment issues. When people come in for a consultation, i found over the years that people generally ask the same questions. So we are producing videos to help provide information to clients in advance of the consultation, or just to provide general information that can be helpful to those seeking information, more information about the divorce and custody process. A lot of times we ask, how long does the process take? A lot of people say, I want to be divorced and I want to be divorced as soon as possible. Well, we can do that for you, um, but it depends on whether the parties are working together or not and whether you can reach an agreement. In a divorce case with minor children, the soonest time you can be done is four months. There is a statutory six-month cooling off period, but it can be waived if there is an agreement that is in the best interest of the minor children. And the court would have to approve that agreement. If you don't have minor children, then the soonest time you could be done is between 60 and 75 days when the court sets their first hearing date. At that time, the judgment and all documents would be presented to the judge and your case would be finalized. If you're unable to reach an agreement, then at the first court hearing, the court will order the parties to go to mediation and for the parties to pick a mediator to help resolve the case. If the case has to go to mediation, generally, on average, for the case with the minor children, it could be anywhere from five to nine months, and a divorce case without minor children could last anywhere from three to six months, depending on the issues. Very rarely do cases go over those maximum time frames, but sometimes there are exceptions to the rule that do cause that to happen. A common question that everyone has is how much does an attorney cost and how do you bill? Um, our firm takes a retainer up front and we bill hourly against that. A retainer can uh, vary in range uh, depending on the complexity of your case, the time that we believe we will spend on it, and the amount of effort or contention that could be involved in your case. Um, generally speaking, when we quote a retainer, it's what we think your case will cost. However, your case could cost more if you have to go to court uh, because you're litigating issues, uh, if you have to mediate your case, um, if you have to go to trial, um, if there's an excessive amount of communication, um, if one spouse is particularly unreasonable, if one attorney is particularly unreasonable, um, then those are uh, a few of several variables um, that can add to the time um, and expense that your case could cost. Thank you again for watching this video. If you have further questions, please call us at 248-270-2709 or visit us on the web at www.michigan-lawoffice.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.